Hello, my name is Karak City Two, and welcome back, multi-block madness series. Uh, last episode, we ended up spending a bunch of time trying to craft up these vacuum chamber uh, lasers. Now, I'm not entirely sure what these lasers actually do, to be honest, <laughs> but we shall see. Uh, but yeah, we needed this neodymium doped yag gem. And we ended up uh, taking quite a bit of time for that, but we are good now. So I hear, I hear bats, I think. Kind of annoying. Maybe it's like down here somewhere. Anyway, um, I'm probably just going to cover this all up. But uh, we don't need to write the second. Uh, what we do need to craft up is this uh, exotic chamber thing. Now it does look relatively easy. Looks like it's just a 7x7 seven seven block and then a couple of the, the things here. Now I hope I kind of wish I hope the beams can go here and then the lasers can go here. Otherwise I have to put this controller like over there or something like that. But uh, alright let's just go ahead and going with it now i believe it's just a yeah i think it's just a seven by seven block hard to see on that but it definitely does help having that thing there um all right so i guess it's gonna have to go like this won't it because these have to go in the middle if i could count correctly Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's all right. I wish it was even with that, but nothing I can really do with this because that has to, that can't move. You can't put that there. It's, it's just do this. All right. So I'm just going to basically design it almost exactly like the way they have it just so see it finished do the coolant vents just there like they have probably just move these when i figure out or once we get this formed all right like that but is there anything nope just empty all right well that seems relatively easy one two three four five six seven And we have like another one of these at the top, it looks like. All right, yep. And then these nine go in that center, right? Yep. So we have. We could probably do just a solid. I'm assuming we could probably just have it solid at the top. We don't actually need the glass, but do it like it goes. All right. And then Man, I hate the bat sound. Must be underneath somewhere. Obviously, <laughs> it's not out in the open, obviously. Well, hello. <laughs> that was, that was, ex I wasn't expecting that. All right. Are we just going to fall down here? Is 
That was hilarious. There. All right, slight distraction. All right, there we go. All right. So let's see if this works. We're gonna throw ahead, go ahead and throw that there. Let me grab my wand. Makes in this much easier. Except for Wow, oh, this glass is hard to see. All right. Yeah, that's the middle. All right, cool. So we'll do that on each side. The middle one. So we're going to try. No. No, I need to put a down one. <laughs> no. All right. We're going to try something here. We're going to try. It probably does have to be directly in the middle. Dang it. We're going to try a one down, though. At least we'll try the beams one down. I didn't realize that. I wish this glass had a little bit, just a little bit of texture on it so I could see where it is because it is quite difficult. To see. Like, okay, got all that, got all that. Um, We'll try this. Also, do these have a, like, does this have to be facing a certain way? Yeah, this has to be, that's the facing out way. All right, I'm pretty sure this is not going to form like this, but we shall see. Yeah, it didn't form. See. Yep, it does have to be right there. No! All right, let me move it down one. Okay, there we go. Moved it down. Moved it down one. All right, cool. There we go. It forms. That's like... One minor complaint about this mod is <laughs> sometimes you have to put them lower than the other ones. I don't know. Like the particle chambers have to be placed down to get the like the beam things to... I don't know. It just kind of bugs me a bit. But, uh, okay. There we go. Um, I do need the beam thingies. Now, there was something about, oh, well, what about K? Was it K? Shift K? I don't remember. Something about to rotate them? Hmm. All right. All right, well, that's good to know. I, I have no idea what mod is doing that, but that's something. But this one actually is okay because I have one, one space. All right. Here. Oh, no, those are both inputs. That's correct. And I just realized, oh, I'll probably put that. What was that? That's was that weirdness that I just saw over there. 
Um, we do need coolant in here, though. So I think I have to... Yeah, I really should just set that up. I just... I really should set up, like, a cooling thing for all of these blocks so I don't have to keep doing this. But the question is, how would I... How would I transport the helium? Like, how would I get the liquid helium in? And, like, would I do use AE? Um... I actually don't know. Because I haven't, I don't think I've used Fluid AE for anything, to be honest. Yeah, I don't even have, I don't even have this, uh, I don't even have a recipe for this. Let me, yeah, then I would have to, Every, see, every time I, like, decide, I'm like, yes, I'm going to do a central thing. And I'm like, nah, let me just craft them up each. <laughs> it does it. It takes almost nothing to craft them up each. But, uh, yeah, let me, let me decide if I want to do something here. Okay, so I decided just throw in the super cool. I could probably use transceivers and stuff. I just didn't feel like fixing everything right. All, I didn't feel like dealing with all that right now, so I just threw this down. Um, I probably will do a central thing, well, like I said, with maybe dimensional transceivers teleporting the stuff around. So we don't need to do AE, because trying to get AE cables to all these would be a pain, too. Um, but anyway, we got that. Uh, we got it powered up. Can't remember how many of these. Is it It's like 8 or 16 or something like that? I, I don't remember how much be put in there but uh, I do have a bunch of liquid helium at least is it maybe it's not oh it doesn't look like it's actually going no it is going through a little bit yeah just a little bit uh, all the other ones, it, it runs just very slowly, even if it's not on, but, uh, okay. So there is our coolant. I have no idea if we are... Well, it's, I guess it's going down. Current heating... I don't know. We shall see. I think we just uh, turn this on. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure liquid helium is. I think I remember seeing liquid helium set in the thing, didn't it? Uh, blah blah blah. These foods, okay, yeah. Ah, uh, it's doing that weird. I don't know what causes this. But it makes it really hard to read. Yeah, that's a pain. All right, well, let's just go ahead and... Oh, it looks like it's it's on. I put this... Not showing no... Oh. Oh, well, there's a laser. That's doing something. Why isn't this showing up? Like, has something turned off? Yeah, this is turned off. Why is... Oh. This... Where is it? Where did I put it? This, for some reason, yeah, when I restarted, this isn't, these are bugged. 
let me do um this i don't know basically it just does it when i'm i guess i could have just flown to this one it only happens when i restart the world they just don't like load in properly or something where did i put it i put it over here didn't i That should. That. No. No. All right. What broke my world? <laughs> Where is it broken? All right. It's here. No, still not. Are these? Oops. No, it's on. Why is it not? Oh, I see what it did. It put the waste in there. Well, that was a pain. Uh, maybe. Maybe like a filter or something to fix that. All right, I think we're, I think we're good. All right, so that should be producing that. We should be getting stuff in here. Yep. This should be in here. And Muon should be going in there. There we go. All right, it's working. I got a. Hmm. That, that wireless thing not working is a bit of a pain. Oh, hello. There we go. We are producing <laughs> sub. What is this like antimatter or something, isn't it? Are we producing? I don't know if this is antimatter, but there we go. We got moononium. Moon All right, we got a moononium cell. Well, that was relatively easy. Ta da! Okay, so there is this. Bononium is contained or made from combining, yeah, blah, blah, blah. The simplest way is to make already, make Bononium has already been detailed in the quest line, but if you're feeling daring, you can attempt to make Bononium from the other methods involving closing chamber recipes as well. You'll need quite a fair bit of this to make neutronic matrices for Neutronium, so make sure to fully automate it. All right. Well, the one uh Oh. Well, that's a bug. <laughs> How did I end up with two of those? Something Oh, did I get it? I probably got it from the thing. That's no, not a bug. I did this give it as a Yep, that gave it as a reward. All right. So You can do the lasers like that. That is good to know. They don't have to be to the side. You can put them wherever you want because there's the, the thing. I figured you probably could. You don't have to have the beams that way. But uh, all right, cool. So we're getting uh, everything is working fine. We have two mononiums. Now we do throw these in a low gravity something something now this thing is crazy but we're not quite there yet because we don't have the negative deposition matrix also low gravity does this need to be like this doesn't have to be like in space does it that would really really not be happy if that has to be in space <laughs> all right so let's do that let's get rid of that I think we got we got most of that. Um, what was the last bit of this? Ah, Forge of the Heavens. Acrylic Acid. Euterbium. We got... There's a few things in here that's a bit of a pain, isn't there? Which one is this? Iron, Neodymium, Boron, Dysprosium. 
Oh boy, I don't know if I have that. This is definitely pushing my base to the max here. High grade leachate. Don't. I haven't set up the leachate shards. I don't have those. I have been storing that stuff. But I don't have that set up to process that. Yeah. I just have them going into a, a thing. And I don't even have that much. Only 55 buckets. Nah. All right. Well, that is that is stuff outside of QMD. Let's continue with QMD. What is this? Yeah. All right. We just did that. Cool. All right. So we did this part of it. The other part is this. Claim that. What is this? All right. Yeah, collision chamber. Decelerator, yep. Yeah. yeah. All right. I kind of... We've done that before, so I kind of understand it. Uh, like I said, the last one is this anti-helium, which is this anti-helium and positrons. Now... I think it's this one that one we look at the neutronium even throw that on there finally we're getting we're kind of getting there basically we need finally on or whatever which is this which is what we use it's anti-helium three all right that's good to know all right so we do need two forges of heaven or Some of this is like, ah, why you gotta <laughs> not this metal alloy thing. This thing is a pain to uh automate. I haven't even I haven't even automated at this point in the back. Uh I just usually do a few stacks at a time. Alright, uh so I guess the anti-helium is what we need. Is this what we're gonna do? Positron, anti -helium. yep, all right. So we're going to do basically the exact same thing we did, but with anti-helion and this positron. A positron is gotten from, ah, all right, yep, this sodium-22, which we should have some of. We don't have tons, but we have been producing it. I don't remember which way we're producing it. And I don't think it's turned on at the moment. Don't I have it turned off? This one, isn't it? Isn't this? Yeah, this is the one that produces it. I think. But no, this does the wafers. It's getting that's the boron. One of these does sodium, doesn't it? Is it this one? Oh, that's right. I was going to do. I'm trying to remember. Is this hydrogen. All right. I'm going to need to take a second and figure out what do we want to do next. Okay. I've decided I want to work on the antiproton next. And uh, that obviously is coming out of this one. So we got our proton, antiproton. Now the proton is what we used uh, for this whole craziness. So the muon or whatever is branching off of the proton. So now I'm going to work on the antiproton. <clears throat> and we need to smash the antiproton with deuterium. To create the anti-helion so that is what i'm working on next now um this was kind of trapped in here so i used these beam diverters to kind of get it out into a 
little bit more open area. So let me just finish this. Basically, it's coming out of there and into here. Now I need to craft up more bean line pipes, apparently. I'm going to come there, which so should be going in there. Yep, there it is. Uh, we are losing focus, but uh, I think we should be fine. Um, I did do both of these on this. I'm going to work on that in between episodes. Uh, because it is getting kind of annoying. Every single time I craft one of these up, I need to craft up a new thing. I don't really want to do that anymore. But, uh, all right. So, and then it'll come out here into the collision chamber. Now, unfortunately, I built this and I realized the anti-proton and the anti-deuterium that we need only need one, like one million energy. <clears throat> if we look at that, that is 3.7 billion. So there's way too much energy in this. Uh, so I'm going to have to decelerate it, do some funny stuff with it. But uh, I just wanted to, before we wrap up the episode, wanted to see if I could get this collision chamber up at least. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, formed, I mean. So basically, as we can see... Easier if I do the anti-helium. Uh, we have the six <clears throat> or the four outputs, two inputs. So the obviously the inputs are going to go here. And then we'll have a whole setup for the deuterium. And that will go in this side. So that will be like over here. Um, but we're going to have to get that anti-proton down with the decelerator first. Um, but there is that. Now, I believe these go here. It's a little bit difficult to tell from the wiki. I think that's where they go. I don't know if they can be anywhere down here, but I think, I think that's where it shows them. Now, <clears throat> I think this particle chamber block goes all the way down the middle like this one side to the other and then these go off like this i think this is what it's showing in the wiki like that now i don't think this needs a cooler or anything like that i think it's literally like that we got our particle chamber energy block. I just want to see if this actually forms. Oh, I didn't know you could do back and forth like that. All right, so it did form. And we are getting anti-proton. All right. Why is it on that side? <laughs> uh, so I guess... Uh, I mean, does it, I guess it, I don't know. Uh, let's see if this will switch it. No. All right. So it doesn't look like you can switch those. Uh, what ends if we do? Like if we put the controller on the other side. I feel like that's no but that is the way it's set up i don't know if that's going to be a problem to be honest if that is on if that thinks it's on the wrong side i i honestly don't know i mean we're smashing two particles together does it does it matter which side they're on i don't know but i do know that has way too much power uh so we are gonna have to deal with that now, also with this particle chamber, we can, and I don't know if this, how much this is going to be worth it, but we can add 
we can add those detector things to this as well. So, as we know, ah, blizzard rods, I need to get those automated. I just need to throw them in a, I need to throw one of those, I need to make one of the uh, elemental things. I've just been avoiding it, <laughs> just doing it manually. I need another thermal elemental data thing. Um, but we can put these in here, similar to the other particle chamber blocks, except this is in a row. So the cool thing is you can just do, it's much easier. We just do a row of the silicon ones down the middle because they need to be, you know, one block away from, uh, must be placed next to the particle chamber. Well, there's a whole bunch of particle chambers. So we can do that. And then we go out from there. Uh, I don't know how for that's going to be needed, but anyway, <clears throat> I am going to work on the cooling because this cooling is absolutely crazy the way I've done this. And I'm going to have to move this, obviously, because we're going to have to get this proton down to the correct amount. So it's going to take a little bit of planning on my part for that. I just, uh, I just don't know how, how important this is. Like, if this is antiproton here and deuterium is there, is this going to send the photon out here and here? Although these can be changed. I believe, uh, just by shift clicking them, you can change the output on them. Yeah. So as we can see, it can switch between four and three. But, uh, yeah, we will check that out next episode. So anyway, that's going to be it for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.